search. And mm-hmm. if you've been on Social Blade, you know, they just added TikTok tracking and, and stuff like that. Now, they, they show the top 25 accounts on TikTok. And if you scroll down toward like the bottom, like they're not that far off from where you're at. Like, so you're gaining about 100,000 every eight to nine days. And like number 25 might be gaining 100,000 every like five to seven days. So like, dude. No way. I'm telling you, man. It... All right. This is Jeff Corrette. I am a digital marketing expert. Um, you, you might know me from TikTok or my SEO company called SEO. Today we're here with Gabe Cataldi. Um, one of the uh, most inspiring success stories that I've seen maybe this year on TikTok. Wow, thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. Um, what, 300,000 in three weeks? Is, is that we're, kind of what's happening right now? We're creeping up on 300,000 in, I guess it would be three weeks and a couple days, but um, unbelievable, unbelievable. Absolutely. Cool. So we're, we're going to dive um, all the way from the beginning until now, the story um, that has led him here. Um, and man, I don't know if you realize this, but I, I kind of went on Social Blade and, and I did a little research and mm-hmm. research. And mm-hmm. if you've been on Social Blade, you know, they just added TikTok tracking and, and stuff like that. Now, they, they show the top 25 accounts on TikTok. And if you scroll down toward like the bottom, like they're not that far off from where you're at. Like, so you're gaining about 100,000 every eight to nine days. And like number 25 might be gaining 100,000 every like five to seven days. So like, dude, no way. I'm telling you, man, it, it's, it's insane. I can't, obviously I can't believe it. And I know we're going to dive into this, but there, is, there, there were a couple moments where I asked myself, what is the fastest, like almost possible rate of growth? Um, again, I'm blown away. I'm humbled by it. i um, excited to be on the journey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, uh, you know, if things keep going the way they're going and, and, and I would, I would, uh, totally anticipate them, them ramping up even more. Um, you know, you could, you could find yourself in that top 25 before you know it. So let's keep this Yeah. Going. The crazy part to me, the numbers are, are unbelievable, but the crazier part is not just hitting the 200,000 or the 300,000. It's the rate of growth, yeah. you know? Exactly. So as much as people are like, what's the number? I'm like, what's crazier than the number is, the 10,000 per day, it feels like, yeah. you know, uh, even yeah. 20,000 some days. And, and it kind of depends on what I have going, but unbelievable. I'm very cool. excited. All right. So let's start in the beginning. Let's, let's talk a little bit about where you're coming from. And, and I guess with your start with, uh, with social media in general. So I'm, I'm a millennial, I'm 27 years old and I came up in the MySpace was my first introduction. I got my first cell phone in eighth grade, which I was actually a late bloomer in that sense. But uh, MySpace was my start there. That quickly went to Facebook. I started on Twitter. Never had any, any level of, obviously can't compare it to this, but any level of internet success or internet following other than maybe my extended circle of friends, right? So one layer outside of the people that I knew directly. Uh, throughout high school and college, I rapped and produced. I have a background in music. I started playing piano when I was four. I played jazz band in middle school. And I really developed an interest in making beats and rapping. And that was my interest in social media was to promote that. And, and MySpace, if you remember, was originally a music platform. And Facebook was originally a college networking site. And it's funny how you know YouTube was originally for home movies. And it's interesting how organically a lot of this stuff grows. They never would have fathomed that. Amazon was originally a bookstore, you know, and now they're the number one online retailer. So it's, it's, it's interesting to see how those evolve. Twitter was kind of a no brainer at the time that I got on there. Um, you know, and I, so I've, I've been through the whole, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, and I was, I feel like I was kind of even late to the party on TikTok. Right. So if we talk about it blowing up, becoming the number one app during quarantine, right, people that were ahead of the game were probably hopping on board late 2019. And my interest in TikTok was obviously the the ability to grow exponentially, to come on there with no following. I don't, I personally don't know how to blow up on Instagram. I know that I have friends and all of my followers before TikTok were people that I personally knew and had met, which because I'm a social person, was a pretty big group of people. I was active in college, but how do you like go viral on Instagram, right? Facebook, even less so. Right. Twitter, I get that the hashtags maybe work more, but again, no success there on my behalf. Not something I really worried about. I have a job that I love. You know, I'm not, TikTok was very much 
this is interesting and let's see what happens. So you have a job that you're happy with. Did, is that what you just said? Yeah. So I work at Hulu. Um, I, work I've at worked Hulu. at DirecTV, Fox, um, and was able to break into the entertainment industry after doing a bunch of contract roles and you know never getting a permanent job and then finally getting my break. And I actually interviewed with Netflix and I chose Hulu. And mm -hmm. that's kind of a, a whole separate story than my social media journey. But you know, long story short is that I'm happy with where my career is at and, and I'm not needing right i didn't come to TikTok to make a career is is the simple way of putting it okay all right so it sounds like um you kind of had a passion for for hip-hop and rapping and producing right um so obviously you know we're gonna hop into like the, the kind of content that was successful for you because a lot of the people watching this may not be familiar with you yet so we'll kind of right. we'll kind of hop into that maybe even show some examples later with like a screen cool. share or something like that but you have a background trying to like trying to like make music become an artist do you feel like that that dream is is maybe still alive or um... i feel like it got <laughs> resurrected to say the least um i still have the ability i can still rap uh, i think that i'm good at rapping i've put in my hours like i've recorded comfortably over 500 songs in my life mm. as far as freestyling on famous beats making my own beats and rapping on that if you look up beast child so my name is written beast child but it's without the vowels, B-S-T-C-H-L-D, which kind of catches the eye a little more. It's 2020, no one's using the yeah. vowels, right? Whatever. <laughs> so if you actually search that on YouTube or on Spotify or on SoundCloud or on Google Play, I have music out there that's my original beats, uh, fully owned, copyrighted you know, content. So I still have the ability to do that. I've always been someone that has been interested in a lot of different things and done a lot of things. So I didn't even mention, but throughout high school, I also had a podcast about the NFL and fantasy football and power rankings and making my picks. That went for a couple years. I went more into the music. I went out of the music. I went more into the music. After college, uh, now I got into school on a scholarship for music. So I was going full music, but then I changed my major to communications to open a few more doors. I know there's a lot going on here, but yeah. after college, I started a podcast again, kind of seeing this, this upcoming world of sports betting and seeing that as the new frontier in sports consumption. And so me and my friend, this is well before it was legalized widely and now you know advertised openly, we started a show called The Dollar Parlay and recorded well over 100 episodes, a couple episodes weekly. He was the college football guy. I was the NFL guy. So all of this kind of, you know, with my background in speaking and communication major and my interest in music, we, we now, you know, we're getting to the, the climax of the story here where those come together for my success on TikTok. Cool. All right. So um, what made you decide to try TikTok? My friends that were my age that were telling me how interesting the app was and that, listen, dude, it's a lot more than just young kids dancing and lip syncing. Never mind the fact that it's the number one downloaded app, right? So it's like, if you're looking to gain exposure, get some attention, leverage an audience, it's kind of a no brainer to go to the number one place. Right. right. Um, but, it, but at the same time is the number one place, something that caters to your kind of content, right? YouTube, 10 minute, 12 minute, five minute videos, very different than 15 second TikToks. Right. very different than Instagram, very different than, okay, cool. So I check, I, I'm open-minded enough, I guess, give myself credit there where, you know, a lot of my peers are like, Oh my God, TikTok, Right. And it kind of has a negative uh, stigma to it. I gave it a go and you don't even need an account. I feel like I'm almost selling it now, but you, right. you don't even need an account to check it out, right? You download the app, you start scrolling and you immediately see what, well, this is funny. Like this is like, ha ha funny. Like yeah. I can actually, me, I can, I can enjoy this. And then you start to learn how the algorithm caters the content to you, right? So I'm gonna swipe past makeup videos and it's gonna figure that out. I like sports content. I'm not into fishing, whatever it is. And it's gonna feed me more of that. And then the for you page starts, you know, hitting for you and it starts really like okay this is a fun experience now on the creator side this is what really caught my attention was the app gives every video a shot and it so organically rewards videos that get engaged and i honestly honestly feel like i had cool stuff 
to offer, whether it yeah. was sharing psychological insights based on books that I've read and therapy that I've gone to and like even emotional ups and downs. I feel like this is relevant in quarantine. Like I can really help people with mental health. On the other end, I'm interested in sports. On another aspect, I feel like I can be kind of funny sometimes, right? So let me experiment with TikTok. And I watched every YouTube video about how the algorithm works and Same. what gets rewarded. Yeah, you know, I, 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 and, and obviously that's where I came across you and you started popping up on my For You page because it realized, okay, this guy likes content um, guides, you know, what, what mm -hmm. people that algorithm are kind of- Algorithm and education. Algorithm conversation, dialogue in that way. So it was, I was very satisfied with the app as a consumer and I was kind of blown away by its potential as a creator. And it's the number one platform mm -hmm. and it's growing exponentially. <laughs> like how, how do you want it? Right. <laughs> yeah. I found it interesting that you said people your age were kind of hyping it up where, you know, the big thing, I mean, I see people 22, 23, 24 saying they're too old for TikTok. Well, what, so, so for me it was people my age are mostly talking it down, but a few of my close friends said, actually, you should check this out. Yeah, so so that's the thing. Friends. The reason I hadn't yet good friends, right? Smart, you know, yeah. forward thinking and like people that I listen to like Gary Vaynerchuk, right? Yeah. He's like standing on a table screaming yeah. TikTok for months. And so I'm hearing enough of this from trusted sources, even though it, like you're saying, contradicts what most of my demographic and my age group and my generation, I'm going to give it a go. You know, I, I was ahead of the curve on a few of the other ones. It didn't pan out, but let's see what happens here, right? Yeah. And it, I'm like more than 10 years older than you. Um, and mm -hmm. it's even more so like nobody, nobody I know my age. It's, it's really a punchline at that point. Right. Yeah. Cause like November and December, I was just kind of, I was just kind of dabbling. I think I started getting serious in like November and then like, but now, you know, we're starting to see that trickle and you know, they're reaching out. Guess for, what's going to happen. I remember when nobody, none of the parents were on Facebook. Now both of my parents have an Instagram. They, they yeah. skipped over, and now my parents know how to post stories on Instagram. Yeah, you know, and it's like, what do you think is going to happen, right? And exactly. so one of the one of the concerns is, is TikTok going to go away? But on the business side, you see how much they're investing in advertising and like making sure creators are making money and giving back to that. So that's a, that's a separate thing. But I think it's my opinion is that it's here to stay as well. Cool. I would uh, definitely agree with that. All right. So, so you're on TikTok now. You're, you're trying some different things. So let's, so let's talk about some of the first things that you tried and how they went. So I opened my account on May 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> 2020. And I came on with the intention of continuing some content that I'd started creating on Instagram and Facebook over the months of April. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. March and April. I started doing psychology, mental health videos. Let's talk about where depression comes from. How is that different than sadness? What is anxiety? It turns out it's a survival mechanism and it's actually the same chemical reaction as excitement. It's not inherently a bad thing. I'm like, people are gonna find this interesting yeah. and useful. It'll give them some peace of mind. It's relevant right now. There you go. So I was making a five minute video for IGTV, but let me make a 15 second video for TikTok and I do all my homework and I get the good lighting and I'm wearing this same shirt in every video to kind of create, oh, that's that guy with the hair and mm. the talking about this. And I'm doing the hashtags and using the music, all that, right? And I know the consistency. I'm not gonna worry about numbers. I have, I have 20 followers, like who cares about the numbers, right? But my, video, my first video just got 300 plays. What the heck, man? Yeah. Like I barely got 300 plays on Instagram and I have 700 followers. That's right. crazy, I love this place. So. I'm doing that every day, some videos more than others. I'm not really getting comments, but I know how the game goes. And ultimately, ultimately, I was using TikTok kind of as a video editor to put these snippets on an Instagram story or a Facebook. And actually, I was getting a lot of positive response from my friends on Instagram and Facebook. And they were like, this is awesome. I'm like, yeah, I know it's awesome, but no one commented on TikTok. I'm trying to get this thing going on TikTok, right? <laughs> like, I already know that you guys, you know, respect what I'm saying. So I spent a couple weeks experimenting with creating, what, let's, what is communication? Let's define that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you make yourself feel better if you're feeling down in the dumps or depressed? Little things like that, that I feel like are really practical, really good, but I wasn't really having the success that I feel like I could have on TikTok, especially when you see, the stuff that's going crazy. You see the viral yeah. stuff and you start to think, I have a lot of friends that see someone go viral for doing nothing and they get frustrated. Yeah. Whereas I, that's cool. I see that and I'm like, hey, 
I would do that if I could. I'm not mad at the guy. I realize yeah. that we can all win. You know, it's not a competition. It's not a basketball game where either you win or I win, right? And even then, there's different levels of winning for different people. So I see that like, well, if that can work here, why don't I find a way? You know, what's the path of least resistance? And so I start doing the comedy thing. I'm like, let me just slap lotion on my face <laughs> and try to get like a you know, slapstick reaction like that and loop the video back and catch them off guard. That didn't work. Let me play chess against myself. Turns out I don't know how to play chess. I actually do in real life, but in this skit, I don't. Let me uh, pretend to be a marketing expert and then follow my own advice, but hate it. You, you know what? Just like little like skits like that. How do we answer the phone differently depending on what my girlfriend calls, when mm -hmm. my boss calls, when my friend calls? I think that's a funny skit. So I was doing stuff that I genuinely thought was funny. Sounds funny. But I, I wasn't putting too much into It's TikTok. It's right. almost like the less you think, the better. Right. You know, I hate to but you get where I'm going, right? Yeah. So none of that worked. <laughs> and then I actually took a week off and I'm focusing on other things and I'm like focusing work is picking up more and you know, whatever. Again, who cares, right? I don't have any followers that are like standing by for content. So you took and a week off from posting? I took a week off from posting and I actually uninstalled the app and I did really like a hundred percent. Interesting. Which is crazy. Wow. And, and so then I came back to the app and maybe I did one more, um, like three different kinds of memory, or I talked about cognitive uh, uh, dissonance or something like that. Something that, I, again, I found interesting. And then I had this idea. Here, here's, here's the climax of the story. I had the idea of, why don't I take a song that's really hard to understand the lyrics? And it came from, originally, it was that song, Roses. Mm -hmm. I walked in the corner and they do this, the mm -hmm. little dance to it. Mm -hmm. this. But you can't understand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This thing. You can't understand what they're saying in the song because of the effect the the pitched vocals it kind of has the chipmunk high frequency thing going song is awesome but you can't understand the lyrics and i'm like and i watched the music video and the lyrics were on the screen and i'm like i think i could make a TikTok just saying the lyrics and again i'm comfortable speaking you know i've spent a lot of time like recording myself speaking cool i've obviously been speaking on TikTok the whole time so then i walked in the corner with the body screaming dolo you know, and, and <laughs> I thought that was funny, you know, and it's like, that's what they're saying. And then I was like, what are some others? What if I take that song? I'm a savage, classy, yeah. bougie, right? And I say it properly. Yeah. That'll be a kind of ironic twist on it. Some people might be annoyed by it, but my friends find it funny. Go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, wait. Uh, okay, so, so you had the first idea. You, you did Roses? And I had the first it. idea. At, no, no, no. I had you the first idea and I it. thought, what other songs can okay. I do? And I like to batch record. So I'm not going to just get all ready, do my hair, get in front of the light and record one 15 second video. We got to touch on the hair real quick, man. Is that, is that like a branding decision? It's a, cor it's, it's, it's a quarantine, no barbershops are open decision. Because um, it, I've, it's, you know, it's just one of those things to help people remember you. Um, it, it turned yeah. into a genius marketing strategy yeah. when it started with... Well, let's just see how funny that it has its own ecosystem yes. at this point, right? And it's <laughs> like, I've never had hair like this. I've always had, when I was in college, I had a one and a half buzz all around. Like, and then after college, I would, you know, taper, fade the sides and comb over whatever. This is like comical to the point where it's literally comical to the point where it's a, <laughs> a point of discussion. So okay. the funny thing is I recorded nine of these rap lyric videos, nine and none of the first eight, nothing happened. Really? That's the crazy part is I thought it was funny. Nothing else I had done popped off. So what's the difference? Let me just continue to make things that I find funny. And I believed in it so much that I literally made nine of them. Okay. So I recorded uh, four on the first day and five on the second day. Okay. And like throughout the second day, I'm, you know, on day two of recording, I'm releasing these four, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one evening and one spreading night them out. Okay. spreading them out i'm never going to post like multiple videos within an hour right it's the least i could do for myself right none of them did any better than any of my old videos and then i have this one in my back pocket that's a particularly vulgar song yeah. right and it's really popular on tiktok and to me the ironic part is that you have kind of a, a younger audience listening to what's explicit is putting it lightly in right. some of these lyrics so I'm there's sure. no way they're going to get me for saying these words because you have it licensed and i just saw 10 videos of boys right. and girls dancing to it i'm gonna you know uh, visually 
bleep out, but I'm going to say the words, right? I'm going to really say, I'm going to lean into them a little bit. And I'm going to, almost like I'm a politician, almost like I'm a history teacher, be saying these. Go ahead. Can you say the name of the song? Pop a Perk by Boone. I've made a, yes, I've made a video about that one. Okay. Right there. And even in the title, he's referring to abusing narcotics, Uh, right? Pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So I think that's funny. People know the song, right? One of my rules is like, make sure you hook them in the first second. They're going to know right when I say that line and they're going to be like, what the heck is this? By the time they realize what it is, it's starting over, you know? And so I had posted eight of these. I knew in the back of my head that that's one of the funnier ones, but how can I possibly expect anything out of it? Right? None of them have done well. Fine. Next idea. And it was literally Saturday night, May 30th, 2020. And I have that one in my drafts. It's ready to go. But I mentally checked out and I'm on to the next thing. Every day I was trying to come up with a new idea. And creativity, honestly, is a muscle. You don't run out of ideas. The more you make, the more you get. Mm. When I used to rap, I used to worry that I would run out of words to rhyme. That's absurd. You just find different ways to rhyme them. You rhyme more of them together. The more you rhyme, the more leverage you have, right? The more flexible you can be with this word kind of rhymes with that. So creativity. Every day I had a new good idea. So anyway, I'm I'm on to the next idea, but might as well post this one, right? It's already here. And again, we look at post time. Sometimes they matter. They matter less with the new update. We hear mixed up. But midnight is probably not the best time to drop a video. <laughs> I did it. Whatever. Who cares? Let's get it out. Let's move on to the next yeah. one. I dropped it at midnight on essentially the morning of May 31st. It was a Sunday. And then at 2 a.m. I rolled over to actually change my bio. This is ironic. To change my bio to welcome to Flop City. Because all my videos flop. I'm the mayor of Flop City. And it was kind of poking fun at the fact that I try. I actually genuinely try and nothing, you know, pops off, which is fine, whatever, who cares? Again, my life is okay, right? (laughs) So then when I go to change the bio, that video has 4,000 views. That's a couple hours later. And I'm like- That's your biggest video to date at at that point? By far at that point. That's four times bigger than my previous. And it's only been two hours Mm. and people are commenting and I've gotten a few new followers. And I'm like, I think I got something here. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I'm not talking, texting my girlfriend. It's like, Oh my God, and we go to sleep. I wake up at seven 30, you know, not waking up, but you know, the old roll over in bed and open up your phone, wake up and boom, 10,000. And I'm like, I think I'm going viral. And the thing is that people are starting to follow me because when they see a funny video, they go to the profile mm-hmm. and guess what? There's eight, eight other more. ones. Turns out it actually was a good idea for whatever reason, those didn't go, but now they're going. Mm. And now throughout the rest of the day, fast forward to it hits 50 and 80,000 by the end of the day, the other ones are getting traction because TikTok is realizing, hey, we should just pump these out. And they're fresh. They're from the day before. They're from the same day. So it's not like TikTok's having to reach back into my archives, like boom, and people are engaging with those. And now the followers are going. And, you know, I have a whole YouTube video. It's, it's the same as my TikTok name. And we'll plug everything at the end. But I had to literally, like, sit down and just tell the story of this exponential growth because, you know, I went 500 followers to the next day, a few thousand. And, and it was 10,000 on, like, day three or four. And the, the beautiful part is that I had found something that worked. It was an original idea. And let's be honest. Yeah. It, it's not that hard to do it, right? Especially where my, my strength is speaking. It, it, it's not that difficult for me to crank out three or four of these in a day where I can sit down in an hour and record four or five of them. Yeah. Where my friends that are doing comedy need to come up with a new sketch and record that. They're doing at most once a day because they're putting so much effort into it and they're so good. The beauty of mine, four bars of a rap song. Like I'm used to spitting a whole verse. You know, This right. is so a yeah. walk in the park almost is an understatement. Effortless. This is, I, I'm not even rapping it. I'm saying it because that's the ironic part. So it kind of struck gold with a really good idea. And I think that the execution is more important than the idea. But when you have both, yeah, and then you feed the fire, and I'm going right. three or four a day. And here we are three weeks later. You know, I mean, I'll check now, but definitely breaking 300. You might have broke 300 um, yeah, if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think feeding the fire is really good. I think maybe even crank it up a little bit just because, um, yeah. as people see your growth and, and they see videos like this, they're going to be like, well, why don't I just try that? So there's going to be more competition and stuff like that, Yeah, which 
you know, it is what it is, but, um, but that's going to happen with any good idea, especially ones that are fairly easy to pull off. So you might want to crank it up a little bit and, and just, and, and just and milk I, it for everything it's worth. You know? Exactly. I had that in mind. I did crank it up immediately to the point where once we started to see some of the I- imitation, I hate to use like a negative word because really well, you were first, I don't so. own rights. I was first, but I had enough of a following and it was interesting how passionate the following was right out of the gate. You know, like, it, so my, my demographic is, I would say 90%, uh, that's a strong number, but vast majority male under the age of 18, right? Uh, TikTok minimum age is 13. We know that sometimes, yeah. <laughs> right? Quote, unquote. So, so um, that was interesting that it was that specific of a demographic, uh, a demographic that a lot of companies would die to have. But it, it, that demographic tends to spend more time on the internet. They have more availability. And when they find something they really like, they are really passionate. They're almost ready to go to war, right? And so when we started coming across, when people started tagging me and people, there's a difference between you having the idea as well and you seeing my idea and trying to replicate it. So my first first thought is that's okay because I think my execution is really good. I think that if someone tries to copy it, are they getting the lighting, the voice, the intonation, the hand gestures – the seriousness are they getting all that right you know like like i studied communication that's not to say i'm an expert but you know i've I've been doing this for a little bit so i'd be curious to see someone give it a go and when we found someone blatantly blatantly ripping off i had to send the goons on them you know (laughs) and so that was a fun like we have our mission you know let's just let's and, and i said i made a video about this i said let's go politely let him know yeah yeah that uh we recognize him and of course they you know, might have gone a little bit beyond that. But. Well, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, look, if you're going to blatantly copy somebody, and I, I've had this happen to me, somebody took my video word for word, and they posted it as their wow. own. Wow. And I'm like, look, that's fine. If you want to use my idea, but please just, just throw me a credit. Give like, me a shout out. That's not going to hurt or you. something, dude. Exactly. Like, and I see a lot of people that want to do this, and they say inspired by or credit to or blah, 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 at Beast Child, right? And I go on there and I'm like, you're the man. You have my exactly. blessing. Ha, ha, ha. I find it funny. Again, yeah. I genuinely think the idea is funny. I don't own rights to it. But when someone's trying to be sneaky, like he didn't even follow me. Mm, He's doing the yeah. same song. <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on, man. Like, right. you know, so right. it's how you approach it, right? Um, luckily, I've gotten to the point now where, you know, I, my bio says CEO of Articulating Rap. And it's like, mm. I'm going to claim that title, right? And again, it's not that any, nobody can do it. The thing is that TikTok is all about trends. It's all about when everybody kind of doing the same thing in a sense, right? So... You know, again, it, it, it's, it's, it's exciting that I genuinely hadn't seen anyone else do this online and, and correct me if, if you have, but I've done like a, uh, lyric video where I'm just kind of like explaining what the lyrics are, but I guess right. you're kind of doing breaking the same thing, it down. but you're making it more, I'm not really breaking down what the lyrics mean. I'm kind of saying what the lyrics are and I've done oh, the parodies gotcha. where I like words oh, okay, that were okay. hard to understand. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I intentionally changed the lyrics to make oh, it like that's funny. funny. That's funny. Um, but I never like said them out loud and and did all that stuff so yeah that's pretty cool uh that was that was months ago where i did mine it was just one you know just no yeah that's all yeah and and, um yeah (laughs) okay so um so you mentioned earlier and we'll we'll double back okay so you're kind of uh at least a couple years ago aspiring i guess you still are aspiring rapper hip-hop producer stuff like that so are you thinking maybe you can uh highlight some of your some of your music using this new newfound um platform and audience what I'm thinking more is that, because right now I'm diversifying, um, I'm trying to leverage my audience to different platforms and, and show different aspects of, of what I can do. I'm sure that by now I hope you recognize that I'm intellectually capable of much more than you know, what, what's, what's popular on sure. TikTok as far as what I'm doing. So I'm going live every single night. I think you popped into mine yes, yesterday. I did. And I'm telling the story of how I got my job at Fox and, and DirecTV and Hulu. I'm going to go live and tell about being a band geek and going to band camp and meeting, you know, g Easy's younger brother was my band camp bunk mate right and like my first kiss at band camp and it's like okay now let me tell like some college stories giving me because the content they like can i get them to like me as a person me as a creator and 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 in a lot of senses the personality the ironic you know the satire comedic 
part of me shines through in the videos. So a lot of them are already getting that and they're, they're on board, but they're following me on Instagram. They're like, what else can I consume? I have yeah. the YouTube, the YouTube has my music. So it's not even that I need to make a TikTok with one of my lyric videos. It's like, I can now record a song. I mean, my old songs are getting more traction now, right? And so now I can record a song and they're going to be ready to ride. And because I actually spent the time making a song every day for three years in college, because I've made over 300, 400 beats in my life, because I actually have put in, I don't know, 10,000 hours, but I put in my time to where the, the ability is there. Um, the marketing was never there. The marketing's not necessary when you have the audience engaged, right? Yeah. So now I'm showing them different parts and I don't play any video games at all, but I'm open-minded. I played throughout my childhood and I think it would be fun. Maybe when I hit a big number, I'm going to stream Fortnite for the first time yeah. on Twitch and it'll be a funny, ironic experience and I'll react to it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you can even stream on TikTok, uh, and I, I've done it. If you dig, uh, if you dig on my YouTube, I've got like um, you can do multi streaming to Twitch, uh, TikTok, really YouTube. with OBS. Uh, well, you use you would use OBS, but you also have to use um, this platform called Lula L O O L A dot TV, and it's like okay. a multi streaming platform. We can stream to like you can actually stream to Instagram as well. So like wow. seven or eight different platforms all at once. And um, I'd love to off air. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll ask you about that specifically, and sure. I'll see about rolling that out. Cool. So um, how I guess how is your life different if it's if you're kind of feeling that it is different? Like are things more or less the same, or like what's changed? Um, well, I'll preface that by saying it's, this is week three. So yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable how quickly it's transpired. Um, a lot of my ability to do this stems from, and why I even started TikTok in the first place was working from home, you know, and, and having, I'm not going to the gym, you know, I just having a little more free time, I'm not commuting. Right. So instead of the two hours that I would spend going to the gym in the sun, I'm spending on TikTok. Well, now, how is my life different now than it was a month ago? It, it's, it's, it's approaching full-time hours because okay. if we're talking about getting myself physically ready, like, a, a, you know, appearance, doing my makeup, you know, whatever, <laughs> getting camera ready, yeah. shooting the video. Um, and I, I was kidding about the makeup, by the way, I don't do makeup, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, filming you the TikToks. Yeah, and, then, and then I actually spend even more time than I do filming. I spend interacting, right, responding to comments. And, and when I first was getting traction, I was responding to every single comment that I got on all of my videos and TikTok cut me off. And, and now it's to the point where that's pretty like yeah. not doable. I can't do it. Um, and so I respond to the early comment. I'm early. Does he yeah. respond? You know, that, yeah. that thing. 30 and, minutes, and, an hour of responding. And, and I'll fire it up. Cool. My big thing, this is where I'm really setting aside time is that I, I tell people on my TikTok live, cause I'll start TikTok live. And at this point, as you saw yesterday, we'll have anywhere from 300 to 400 people in there, you know, within 10 minutes of just going live. And now I'm directing people to Instagram because I, I will respond to every single Instagram DM. So at the time of this recording, that's true. Yeah. Um, and it's gotten to the point with 200 yesterday. So now I'm setting aside an hour and a half at, throughout the day to respond to every single one. And someone says hi, and I say hi back. Go ahead. Are they asking you for anything or are yeah. they just saying hi? What are they asking? A lot you? of them are asking, a lot of them are. So if you look at my comments, I want to say half, but a third to 40% are song requests. Please do this song, do this Lil Wayne song, do this. So in that sense, the, the content is kind of coming to me because I don't even have to think of ideas for what songs to do because they're asking for them. And the ones that are more highly requested tend to do better, regardless of my view, regardless of what I listen to. It's, yeah. it's, it's them, right? I got, so, a, I got a, I got an interesting idea for you, man. Um, cause this, this is exactly how I, how I monetize my lives. I say the biggest gifter gets an account review. Cause that's what people ask me for all day long. Well, if you're getting, yeah. if you're getting song requests, biggest gifter or top three gifters. get. To yeah. Pick, that's pick kind it. of a no brainer where I organically already do that because that. The, the people that are helping me out also have opinions and not to say that anyone's is more important than the other, but I appreciate you doing that for me. I'm absolutely willing to hear you out and maybe give you, you know, maybe do your sooner type of thing. Nice. Um, and I'll also be honest with people that even help me out. 
but have a suggestion for a song that, in my opinion, doesn't fit what I look for in the video, no matter how popular it is. I kind of have figured out hooking the first line, a few certain words that are going to catch people's attention, maybe a part of the song that pops. This song just isn't popular enough, or this song's popular, but it won't make for a good TikTok video. And so I need to kind of have that filter myself. But what do my DMs look like? Some people saying hi, some people saying, can you do this song? Some people asking, how do I grow on TikTok? And then here we get into the business side, people saying, can you do my song? I'm a rapper. Mm. Can you do my friend's song? And now to the point where I've actually had a couple bigger artists ask me to do a song Ooh. and I will post you on my Instagram. And now you're offering me something, right? So, you know, I, I get the thing with, with, with <laughs> doing a favor for an up and coming artist and, and I have a plan for that and I'm going to roll that out in July. And I'm kind of putting that off. Hit me up again in a, a month, in a week or a couple of weeks. The reality is, again, going back to the growth rate, my price right now will be very different than my price a month from now. And if I'm not itching for the money, you know, what's, what's the incentive for me to cash in now when I could cash in for double at that point? Yeah, I was thinking also, uh, along with money, if it's a bigger artist, maybe a collab, maybe you could, mm -hmm. or you could, you could work on a song together. You so know, yeah, wh where's, it depends on, now we're talking the level of the artist because, yeah, I mean, there's an artist... There's already rappers that are famous, but I have more TikTok followers than mm. them because TikTok's <laughs> yeah. a newer thing. So how, right. how does that happen, right? right. And so right. I can guarantee, where's the incentive for them, right? We get it. I can get 100,000 views in less than a day, right? 10,000 views in 15 minutes at this point. Unbelievable nice. numbers, nice. right? And so it's obvious for them. So now what are you doing for me? And so, hey, I have a million Instagram followers. I'll take your video and post it on my story and tag you. Now we're talking. Boom. I yeah. just got, you know, hundreds of, of organic, genuine Instagram followers that saw that, found it funny, checked me out, followed me. So now that's an even trade. Now, especially if that artist's song is already popular, if it's not coming off as a, a business, a negotiation, a backroom negotiation, it's like, I don't even need to tell people that we came to this agreement. The song's already popular. I might have already done it anyway in a week mm. from now. <laughs> right. Exactly. But this is a win-win for me and you rock and roll right yeah. and 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 there's now artists that i haven't talked to a, a rapper by the name of d bangs two million instagram followers organically found my video downloaded it posted it on his page didn't know who i was but when you when you post a tiktok video it has the the logo at the end so he inherently gave me credit and that's awesome you know and yeah. i'm now getting found I mean, when you have, I have now 10 different videos that have hit a million views. So it gets to the point where a lot of people that are just consuming the app old fashioned that don't even know who I am, I'm going to pop up on the for you page. Yeah. And you know, I have a video that's about to hit 3 million. So <laughs> it, nice. they're getting out there. It's crazy. Awesome. All right. What are your biggest, if you can give like three, three of your biggest tips for people trying to achieve uh, your level of success. A lot of people are struggling on TikTok, which is why my channel, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. So well, you know, you're, you're, you're doing well because there's an, there's an audience of creators. Um, let's see. Number one, good camera and lighting. Simple. You, you have high quality. quality. Per, if it looks dark, I, I get that you're kind of might be limited to whatever phone you got. If the back camera is better than the front camera, take that into account. Lighting makes even a bigger difference than camera quality. Um, next is a hook in the first second of the video. Anybody who's listening to this knows that you're going to swipe past anything that doesn't catch your attention. Uh, 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 you know, a cute girl dancing is going to catch your attention. Me saying, you know, a line of a rap song that you know is going to catch your attention, yeah, right? Like, Jeff saying, how do you want to grow? Well, that's going to catch whatever your hook is. Yeah. Then the length. This is something that I don't feel like enough people talk about. 11 to 17 seconds. So you got to be more than 10 seconds because if your video is seven or eight seconds, TikTok's not going to push it because you're not going to generate enough watch time. I could rewatch that three times and I haven't even been on that long, right? Whereas, well, to be uh, fair, my, uh, my, I have an eight second video with 19.2 million views, but 19.2 million. Yeah. But that was, that was months ago. Things may have changed a little bit. It, it does, Holy it does seem like cow. they're, uh, they're, they're, they're favoring longer, but <laughs> okay. Throw out the, the less than 10 seconds comment. There you go. Again, yeah. I don't claim to be an expert, but I, I've just done my homework and this is what has worked for me. So I'm yeah, speaking no. from my experience. Yeah. And um, you're but, growing a lot, uh, overall a lot faster than me. And, and I've had some, 
some some slammers but uh <laughs> no no yeah i mean 19 million I, that's absurd and it's funny when the numbers get this big you can't even wrap your head around I know, it's, it's just a number at that point right like it's ten thousand followers in a day it's ten thousand individual human beings that clicked fall like that's right. crazy <laughs> yeah. but anyway so on the higher end right if your video is 30 40 seconds long you're putting the odds against yourself that someone's going to watch it all the way through and let alone rewatch it you know, right. we know how yeah. short the attention spans are these days. So when, when I have a 15 second video in 30 seconds, they've watched it twice. And a lot of people look at the like ratio, like to view ratio comment. I think even a bigger part of it is rewatching. And yeah. if someone's commenting on their, on your video and they're writing something, guess what's happening in the background? The video is replaying. And my video that's 12 seconds long is going to replay once when they watch it, once when they watch it again, and three or four times total when they're commenting. And if I'm now getting multiple views out of each visitor, that's gonna, I'm gonna get bigger numbers than if you have a 40 second video and I watch most of it. You know, now you're going from getting a 50 to 70% watch, I'm getting 300%. Yeah. And if, uh, no brainer, TikTok's gonna share that, right? And, Absolutely. And it's almost the shock value. By the time you realize what you're watching, it's already started over. And I know you only asked for three, but my last tip is um, a surprise ending. You know, boom, cut it. If it's something funny and you're walking into the pool and the second you hit that water, cut. Mm -hmm. Almost, I hate to say this, almost to where it's kind of unsatisfying. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, I need to, you know, and you're going to watch it 10 times as if there's going to be a different ending. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like, what did he say? Or, oh my God, he popped out of there yeah. or whatever or i fell over at the end of my dance and cut it like yeah. quick cut so like those that. are the, and then obviously consistency i know that you preach anyone that's here understands the importance of continuing to put it out but yeah, yeah. you know it's interesting uh, and i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up one of your videos and uh, we're, we're pretty short on time oh um, uh, yeah 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 but um you know i, I wonder uh, about about your consistency like if you were only posting once a week or once every couple of days you know i wonder how far behind you'd be like, like, I feel like people learn so much just from posting a lot. Like, Oh, that works. That works a little bit better. That works a little bit worse. This There's works, two yeah. parts to it. One is evolving as a creator, but I'll tell you point blank today, probably in this second that you're listening to this 10 to 30 people are watching my first lyric video that I put out. I'm flooding the market with content and the TikTok algorithm knows what to do with all that to feed it to different people. I have so many videos that are getting consumed every second. That is a hundred percent. I mean, not a hundred, you know, that's a large part of why I'm growing so fast because there's so much I'm giving TikTok so much ammunition. Maybe people are only following me the third time that they see one of my videos. But if that third time happens, in a six hour span, people are telling me I'm on their for you page eight times in a day. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, if they're getting that fourth exposure in day one, of course they're going to follow if they like it. Right. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Let's see. What we all got. right. So I got one of your videos pulled up and, and by yeah. the way, thank you for all your awesome insights on, on, on the things that have helped. You thank grow. you for having me. My pleasure. So, so anyone curious, anyone watching this on like a YouTube or they're out and about and, and just don't have time to check them out just yet. This is kind of what we're talking about. So I'm going to unmute this and hit play. I don't know. We're in Zoom. I don't know how, how clean or choppy it's going to be, but here we go. Can you hear this, by the way? I can't hear it. I think okay. you have to click share computer sound at the top of your, uh, next to your share screen. It should be at the top of your Zoom options. My Zoom options are at the bottom. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> share computers. Okay, sorry about that. Nah, nah, right. nah, nah. Now? Every yeah. day. Okay. It's like my so iPod's you know, you're, stuck you're, you're on replay. The lyrics out loud. Shouties like a melody kind of like in my head that I can't clearly, keep out. Like an, like an English Got me teacher, singing basically. like exactly. Nah, 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 nah. Every Very day. You're, you're, it's you're like, like my a, iPod's uh, stuck like a, on a replay. Song and you're just Shouties like a melody and, um, in my head the that I can't keep out. That's kind Got of what we're talking about. Like, this is nothing. Nah, this is not rocket nah, science. Nah. This is a simple Every idea. Day. It's, it's nothing it's like that my, someone that is comfortable speaking, it's nothing that most people wouldn't be capable of. You know? And um, so, so people are probably intrigued and they want to see more of what you've done. So why don't you um, tell people where they can find more of you? 
So to clarify the spelling of beast child, uh, B-S-T-C-H-L-D. It's beast child, but without the vowels. And that's the same name across all platforms. So I did you a favor. Um, <laughs> YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, who knows what's next, right? But B-S-T-C-H-L-D, Bustchild, um, across all platforms. You'll find me. You'll, you'll hopefully see the same uh, profile pic, and that'll be your cue. Maybe you'll see a blue check mark uh, in, in, in the coming year next to him. All right, y'all. Hopefully everyone watching this has found a ton of value. I know I have. Um, go ahead and follow him on any platforms that you frequent and, uh, and just keep an eye on him because he's definitely somebody you're going to want to watch over the next coming months and years. So, Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Jeff. Nice meeting you, man, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.